Hey everybody, Winstreak here. Today's question comes from Gixie Melon, and they are asking for help making a power attack button. So a bar that charges up, and the closer you hit it to perfect, the more power you hit with. Um, so, without further ado, let's hop on in. And we're going to start from scratch on this one. And we're going to start off with some sprites. And this is going to be a lot like building a health bar. So we're going to want a wide width and a low height. And then I'm going to set this one as just the outer border. And I like to fill these in. And then oh, I'm going to move that origin to the side. And then I will create another one. Actually, I'm just going to clone this object and paste. And we're going to edit these to be two less. And that's just so it fits inside the border. And then I'm going to fill this whole thing in to yeah, something better than that. And we already have it on the left side, but not quite all the way on the edge. There we go. And now these will sit on top of each other. And that'll be my charging bar and essentially when it's all the way green if you click it will count as a hundred percent we're gonna throw some text down and this will let us know what we hit for and I'm gonna use mouse just to show how it can work and obviously you can use it with whatever type of uh, event you want to trigger it and starting off we will set an every tick and we're just going to Oh, I don't have any globals yet. I'm going to want three globals. So our current value. And I'm just going to set that to 200. And then our target value, or our max number. Also 200. And every tick we are going to add three. So add three to current value. And then compare the variable or values and if our current value is oops uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. that won't be in every tick uh, compare variable if our current is ever above the target then we're going to set that back down to zero and that'll just make the bar go all the way to the right hit the edge and start over again so we will set that value current to zero and we can see what happens here nothing because I didn't show anything um, next we will show the sprite and we will set that we can do this one in every tick and we will set that width and we want this width to just follow our current value so we have current divided by target times 200 and the 200 here is just to match the actual pixel width of this and now we can actually see it running through and then on mouse click and before I finish that off I'm gonna add one more variable and this will be <coughs> powering up and we're gonna set that to zero as long as powering up is on zero, this will continue to do its thing. So we'll just compare powering up is equal to zero. And then that way when we click, it'll stop our power up from happening. Because we're going to set the value of powering up to one. And that'll make this condition fail and it'll stop doing all this fun stuff. So I can just show you, boop, stops the bar. And then we just have to set a text that tells us <coughs> what our value was and set text and we have I don't know something fun BAM you just struck four and then we will add the value of current and I want it to be a percent so it's a 200 value we're just going to divide it by two and that will give us a zero to one hundred and then I'll add percent power. 
and now we have it we click BAM 93 percent power not too bad and obviously you can set different sayings depending on how high you strike so we can add a sub event um, compare variable current is less than 60 and then we'll do another one less than 80 and then another one and it will be greater than or equal to 80 and then we can drag this down here that one's all excited and we can put one in here that says you suck you just oh I'm not inside of a text uh, quotation you suck you just struck four and that'll be for ones lower than 60 and then this one's indifferent because it's kind of in the middle Meh. you just struck four and it'll tell us anything less than 80 um, and then we do need to let's see if I can add an else in here and that'll make sure it doesn't do both of them um, so since 30 would have been less than 60 as well as less than 80 we need this else here to block it um, above 80 or equal to 80 is the only option that can hit us there so we shouldn't need it so BAM struck for 99% power not to brag that was a pretty good one and we can show how bad we can do blurp ooh you suck you struck for 18 and let's see if I can hit in between the two BAM you just struck for 70.5 well that's not what we wanted that one to say that's supposed to be meh so let's figure out why that didn't work real quick um, greater than or equal to 80 current is less than 80 um, so we need to set these to 120, 160, and 160, and that should fix our problem. We'll verify it does. So you suck 49.5%, meh, 69%, which is great. That was right under that 80% mark we wanted, but above the 60% mark. And the reason that was is because my current is again out of that 200 value. So. Uh, I was looking for the 80% mark and the 60% mark, um, which we'd have to double them to actually get that. But that should do it for you. Obviously, you can edit that to make it as uh, fun and interactive as you want. And let me know in the message board if you need more help. Have a good one.